When you get older, you'll grow out of your acne. The lie detector test has determined that is a lie. Adult acne is not a joke. It looks, it feels, and it is very real. I struggled with severe chronic cystic acne as a teenager. I became a medical esthetician to understand my skin. I was able to clear it. And now I sit here on the internet, make YouTube videos to help you both understand and embrace your skin. But this is a common myth that keeps coming up and that I still hear to this day. And hi, tell it to my back acne and my grandfather's face when he was on his deathbed. Because in his 80s, he still had pimples on his face. Adult acne is very different than teenage acne, and it's quite frustrating when people treat you the same. <laughs> Recommending products that although help for acne won't necessarily work for your more mature skin. Adult acne is usually balance or barrier related, and again that's talking about hormones and life stressors and things that are very different to teenage skin, and it really feels horrible when someone comes up to you and starts spitting acne advice in your face as if you haven't tried it for the past 20 years. Even as a medical esthetician, I've cleared my skin from this to this, and hi, hello, I still break out. It's not as bad as it used to be, and it's again, because I understand skincare, which I'm here to share with you today, but it is really frustrating when you try to take acne advice from videos, articles, papers that are all written with teenage skin in mind. So let's talk openly about acne. Let's talk about the anatomy and what causes it. Let's talk about products and what you should use, what ingredients you should look for. And we're actually partnering with Phyla to understand the microbiome of skincare. And I think a lot of people don't talk about that because there is new data and research emerging every single day. But I think that especially for adult acne, when you've tried everything else, it's about understanding what's actually going to work for your skin and how to put those things together in a way that's manageable for you. Do you remember what acne actually is? Acne is caused by a bacteria. It lives naturally within our skin, but when it takes over, things get bad. You see, when it takes over, it eats oil. And guess what our skin produces naturally? Oil. When the bacteria eats that oil, it creates a waste product. It farts and it poops, and all of that gets blocked up in the skin. Now, for someone who doesn't struggle with acne, their skin exfoliates off naturally, they have a really good skin cycle, and they're good to go. However, in adult acne sufferers like us and our lucky faces, our skin tends to clog or get plugged up. That little plug keeps everything underneath the surface of the skin, and that bacteria grows. More of them are created, there's more oil, there's more waste, and hi, hello, redness, inflammation, and irritation. These are the main ingredients to every single acne pimple or acne breakout. But again, adult acne is different. And the reason why is because it's usually associated with things such as stress, hormones, out of balance, skin barrier, disrupted. And if you're going to the grocery store and buying, you know, a benzoyl peroxide face wash that's made for an oily skinned 17 year old, you know, and you're an adult acne trying to get on with your life and you've got a hormonal breakout, it just doesn't cut it in the same way. Not to mention birth control, menopause, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, if you've got ovaries. You know, all of those fun things. <laughs> Additionally, remember how our skin renews on a 28-day cycle? As we get older, that slows down, so your skin might be renewing every 30 to 35 days. So obviously, your skin is going to react differently than a teenager's who, you know, has an 18 to 25-day skin cycle. So what are the products and the ingredients that you should look for? There are four main active ingredients that have been medically studied and actually FDA approved by the government to be effective for acne. Those are Retin-A, such as what you would get from a doctor. That's again our benzoyl peroxide, our salicylic acid, and sulfur. But don't forget there are other things that can help with adult acne, especially if you've exhausted all of those options or you haven't tried the right formulas for your skin. And there's actually medical studies and medical data backing some of these up. Let's actually start with this one because it is quite shocking. We're talking about seaweed. Yes, seaweed, which everybody online is gonna tell you it breaks your skin out. It's like a five on the comedogenicity scale. The comedogenic scale or the comedogenicity scale was flawed in its creation. Lab Muffin Beauty Science or Michelle Wong did a really great post on this, but essentially they had products and they tested them on rabbit ears. Does my face look like a rabbit ear to you? No, and our skin reacts very differently than rabbit ears, so what caused breakouts there won't necessarily cause breakouts in us. There was some information that I shared on the internet that I probably wasn't supposed to, but I did because I care about you and your face. 
and we dove into the details of algae, the actual biochemistry of how it works within our skin, and it can stop things such as major damage caused by radical oxygen species. It can actually be extraordinarily helpful to the skin, and if you want to see that video, it's unlisted, so you can't find it unless you have a link, but the link is right here. So open it in a new tab and watch it after. But essentially what this means is that acne sufferers have been avoiding algae when it can be very beneficial to acne prone skin. It can be hydrating and impart nutrients into the skin, but really it stops free radical oxygen species, these damaging little things that want to eat up the inside of your skin. This means that it could help to bring down the inflammation within pimples, it can help with the dark spots that are left behind by acne, and it can actually help with scarring and wound healing so that if you do have a lesion, it doesn't overproduce. You can find mini algae masks on the market. This is one that I would personally recommend. This one is the Ose, OC, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is the white algae mask and it goes onto the skin really smooth. It's more of a hydrating formula as well, because again, adult acne generally needs a little bit more hydration and a little bit more barrier protection. So this goes on super soothing, but in addition to that algae, this has copper ferment. We've talked about copper and some of the potential anti-aging benefits as well as peptides. And guess what? This has a bunch of peptides in it too. Remember that peptides are what eventually make up proteins like collagen, which is what your skin is built on. So if there is a way to potentially stimulate that or to impart more of that into the skin, hopefully it could trigger those biochemical pathways into making our skin more resilient, less prone to scarring, and less irritated by our adult acne. Masking is great to do once or twice a week, but what about your everyday skincare routine? Again, if you wear makeup, you want to make sure to remove that completely at night. I would recommend using a cleansing balm or an oil formula to remove the makeup, because again, you can break down all those particles, but you always have to remember to double cleanse. Your second cleanser is what's actually going to give you those benefits. Unlike teenage skin, I wouldn't actually recommend a benzoyl peroxide cleanser here. I feel like it could be a little bit too harsh, too drying for adult acne, and again, benzoyl peroxide works by breaking a bond and causing some oxidation within the skin. And while that's usually fine and well tolerated in teenage skin, in adult skin, especially if you're a little bit more on the dry side, you might not want to use that all over as a cleanser. Benzoyl peroxide is great as a spot treatment, but for a cleanser, I'd recommend something with salicylic acid. This is the Phyla Fresh Cleanser, and it's made with 2% salicylic acid. Remember, salicylic acid is one of those ingredients that has been proven to work for acne. And it's also slightly anti-inflammatory because it's very similar to what's found in aspirin. Acetosal Salicylic acid, if you wanted to be precise. <laughs> This also has tea tree in it, which I personally love. Tea tree has been shown to be antimicrobial and antibacterial, and because of the way these are suspended in different alcohols, they actually penetrate into the skin really deep. I do find that this tingles just a touch. I would not call it painful. And remember, your skincare does not have to hurt in order to work. <laughs> However, this is one formula that I can feel working and penetrating into the skin. I actually found out of this because of Skincare by Hiram, and when I actually looked into them, I found out that yes, they meet my standards of being vegan and cruelty-free, but they're also scientific backed. They worked for multiple years to create this line and they're actually based on probiotics and because of that they're built to support the actual microbiome of the skin. Remember the bacteria that we share our lives and the surfaces of our bodies and the inside of our bodies with. <laughs> Phyla is actually a shout out to biology for all of my skin science nerds out there, and the fact that this was created with acne prone skin in mind, that they use probiotic bacteria and they were created by biochemists and microbiologists is something that I am truly grateful for. Because again, in the skincare industry we have a lot of good products, but there's also a lot of shit products, and it's like, come on, back up your stuff with science, do the work, speak with the experts, and create something that's both fun to use, but actually effective. Thank you. After you've cleansed, that's when you want to put on your treatment stuff. Again, this is what's going to be staying on your skin, so you want it to work. This you probably know from your doctor. It's Retin-A, or retinoic acid, and it's again from that vitamin A family, and it was originally created to fight acne, but it does help with fine lines, with wrinkles, and with scars. So adult acne sufferers really do love this for their skin. Because it's prescription only, please go talk to your doctor. There are over-the-counter retinols that I would recommend. This happens to be a derivative. This is from Dermalogica. There also happens to be The Ordinary in Squad which is one of my favorite oils. These are going to be much more gentle than this, but this also means that they'll be less drying. So if you have the opportunity to talk to a dermatologist, this really is the gold standard. But again, if you don't have insurance or if you don't want to use this, there are over-the-counter products. These actually go into your skin and they bind to the RXR or RAR receptor. And this actually causes a cascade of changes, making your skin less oily and less habitable to that bacteria. So therefore, less pimples. They do work very well, but there's an induction phase 
space so they can take time. And again, you wanna make sure that you're buffering them with other products that are actually going to be healthy for the skin because um, Retin-A products are super, super intense. And if you do use things like moisturizers or serums, you can kind of help to ease them into your routine a little bit easier. This is the Fortify Serum that I am personally bewildered by. I love this. It's not just super spiffy packaging, but it's a base of oil. So again, we have that squalene, which I totally love. We do have some glycerin to keep things hydrated, but the real kicker in here is that there's a C. acnes bacteriophage. Remember that C. acnes or Cutobacterium acnes is that bacteria that overgrows. A bacteriophage literally eats up and gets rid of bacteria. So this actually has probiotic technology built into it to basically eat up or to destroy the excess C. acne bacteria that's living in the skin. This stuff is amazing. It does have alcohol in it, so it dries off the skin nicely. If you're super, super dry, you're gonna wanna back it up with a moisturizer. But overall, I absolutely love this. Again, if your doctor says it's okay, I would recommend using your retinol or your vitamin A just kind of on those little spots that you get um, or anywhere that you get them regularly and then using this all over to prevent the bacteria from turning into a pimple. And then you want to moisturize. You really wanna make sure that you're actually giving your skin some barrier protection. Because remember, for adult acne, yes, it's often hormonal or it's often stress-related, but if our skin barrier is damaged by using products that are meant for teenage acne or products that just don't replenish our skin, no wonder our skin is gonna be angry and freaking out. In moisturizers, I love jojoba oil, I love squalane oil, I love ceramides, I love shea butter, and again, even things like dimethicone or caprylic triglycerides are fine. The purpose of a moisturizer is to soothe over the skin, to lock in your serums, and to create an occlusive barrier that really protects your face. This is the fluff moisturizer, and it really does go onto the skin like a big old fluff, and the best thing is that the first ingredient is jojoba oil. That is one of my favorites, and again, as an acne sufferer, don't be afraid of oil. Your skin produces it naturally, but when your skin produces it, it feeds the bacteria, it can go out of whack. Jojoba oil is amazing because it mimics what our skin naturally produces, but it doesn't have other components such as the cholesterol, which could actually be more irritating to the skin. It's all the good stuff, but not the bad stuff. They're actually feeding the skin's microbiome. So there's no salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or retinol in here. But again, that might be okay because we're not trying to strip the skin. We're trying to rebalance it and get our biome back into a happy, healthy place. You also have to keep in mind that not all bacteria comes from vegan and cruelty-free places. I am so happy that this one does, but again, that's why it's so important to turn and learn your ingredients, to know what you're putting on your skin, make sure it matches your morals and values. And also, if you see things that continually work, you can reach for more of those active ingredients. Or if you look at something that says benzoyl peroxide and you're like, I've tried it a million times, you know to avoid it. Speaking of benzoyl peroxide, I did mention that it's good in a spot treatment. Again, if you're okay with that drying, then go for it. But for adult acne, what I would really recommend as a spot treatment is sulfur. Sulfur is a amazing. Again, it is medically approved and FDA approved to help acne. And I don't know why more acne products don't utilize it. Maybe it's because of the smell, but there are some amazing products that especially for those zits or for those whiteheads, even some that are slightly under the skin can work really well. One of my favorites is from Sonia Dakar. This does have sulfur, but it also has camphor in it. Um, it does have alcohol. So if you're super, super dry, you might not want to use this, but I found that it doesn't irritate me and it doesn't irritate a lot of the people that I've recommended it to professionally. This is phenomenal to put on those pimples as they pop up and dry them out. But if you don't wanna dry out your pimples, they are a little bit more expensive, but I also highly recommend Zitsticka. These are micro dart patches. They have these little tiny needle-like things in them that actually gently puncture pimples. They're a sticker that sits on the skin. You leave them on overnight or for a couple of hours, and when you take them off, the zit is actually reduced in both size and color. Um, I was flabbergasted when I first tried them. They are hydrocolloid patches and they do have peptides in them. So again, more of those healthy things that could potentially regenerate the skin or, you know, help promote the skin to produce more of those protein building blocks that turn into collagen. Overall, the science isn't out on that, but at the very least, they are hydrating and these patches do work for pimples in the skin. I would only use them for emergency situations though, because again, they are expensive. <laughs> I think it's most important to remember that adult acne doesn't define you. This happens. I'm an adult with acne. We are out here. We are sisters in the acne club. And it's tough because I feel like adults we don't talk about it, or maybe we grew up with magazines that just wanted smooth skin, and so we've drilled that into our brains. But the truth is that it's biology, it's life, 
it happens. And if we work with our products to understand our skin, work with our microbiome and treat it properly, it'll treat us kindly back. Another huge thanks to Phyla for working so hard to create a scientifically backed line that actually helps to balance out the skin. Again, it's a pleasure to work with them on this video and I have good news because this is what's called the three best friends bundle or the three best friends set. With any purchase of this set, they are giving away a free serum and have free shipping. If you use that code, it does nothing extra for me. I don't get a kickback, meaning I don't get commission on it and it does not raise the rates for you. But if you're already interested in purchasing this and want to get a month's worth of the serum for free as well as free shipping, please feel free to enjoy that. They mentioned that that is only while supplies lasts and again, I don't know how long supplies lasts. Technically, we're like both in the San Francisco Bay Area, so I could go knock on their door and be like, hi, coronavirus, what's going on? <laughs> But I'll see if I can find out more and maybe even do a little bit of my own testing because for those who don't know, I love microbiology. I actually have petri dishes in an at-home lab room that I kind of created because I mean, what else are you going to do two summers ago when you had no friends and you're a science nerd and you're bored? But overall, whether you're struggling with adult acne or whether you're embracing it, always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.